Good morning. It is Saturday, January 6, 2024. Uh, we slept in this morning, which was nice. <laughs> uh, just got my stuff packaged up uh, from last night. I left it, didn't get it done last night, so I got it packed uh, just now. And we are going to make our first stop at store number one here in a minute. And uh, then we will hit the post office and probably hit up store number two and probably ping pong between them both today. We'll see what we feel like doing. I didn't really have a big dinner last night, so I kind of want to get a little omelet going. Um, treat myself for eating very uh, portionately this week. Okay, good morning. We made it to store number one. Yep, Let's see what the day brings us. Hundred forty one listed. Oh, man. Sorry, no wheelies allowed in the store or little ones standing in the shopping cart. And fifteen Please sold. <laughs> so we'll leave that. It's like six sealed. New unbox Jangas for six each. The shipping is obviously the issue with these. I still don't think it's worth it. Which is a shame because you always love finding quantity of stuff. We got three, seven of them. There's something to look that up, but yep, sorry, I can't get the genius. Trial by trolley. This is heavy too, but less common, of course. That is about 20 bucks now, 15, yeah, 20 now. Eight bucks. It's Look at the sell through, there's 90 up, and 33 sold, so yeah, probably not worth it. Kind of prices all over the place. 27 listed. 88 sold. For decent pricing. But God, I don't want to count all these pieces. Let's see what it looks like. I hear them rustling. Definitely been played. The Rico game is um, only five dollars. Everything seems pretty organized, so I think I'm gonna just go for it. Just because that sell through rate is insane. So, play new looking Denon receiver here. A few listed around 250. Some of these sold for 150 plus 75 shift. Bunch of remotes sold. Somebody sold us parts only for 70 shift. 200 shift. Now yeah, this is a little annoying. Yeah, we don't know if someone's gonna pay top dollar for one missing a leg. Yeah, they don't like messing with these anyway, so yeah, for would would be fifty forty dollars I'd be paying for it, but still, I'll just leave it. There's plenty of things to make money on. Super Nintendo candy box. <laughs> so, one thing where you have an advantage doing this is knowledge. Um, you know, there's like two or three other guys going through the electronic bags over there. All of them passed this up, probably because they thought it was some third-party controller or something. It's actually a Steam controller that they don't make anymore. 
last time I sold these, even without the Bluetooth dongle, it went for like 75 bucks or something. I don't know if they're going for that still, but you know, just another instance where knowing is half the battle. This is new or old, but that's a cocker plush. Definitely gotta look you up for five bucks. Ideal Toys Woodville. Maybe a year. I'll do a Google search on you. All right, can't find this exact Conquer plush, but all the others are selling for, you know, $50 to $100. Um, unless this is the one. There's one that looks like this, but it has clothes. I don't think it's the same one. So I might have an even rarer one. Hopefully, God, if I had one from, like, the Nintendo 64 era, that would be the best. But we'll do some research. We definitely are picking it up for $4.50. Started off the day, three great buys. Got the Conquer Plush. We got that Puerto Rico game, which hopefully won't be too much of a hassle. And we got the Steam Controller. So, yep, started off good. It's pretty quiet in there today. Nobody's doing books. So, um, won't see any of that today. But I'm going to run to the post office, drop off my stuff, and then run down to uh, store number two see what they got going before I head back up here. Okay, stop number two at store number two. It's a Saturday, so we have all day to play. Um, <laughs> I still want to go home and make make uh, an omelet, so just grab this uh, Jurassic World. This thing fell off. Um, picked a few of these up. I can't remember which ones are still valuable or not. I feel like this one is mouth opens but they've like reprinted them a bunch of times now so i don't know what's still worth picking up but i still think for five bucks this is so checking this um dent supply ran out i think it's some kind of a dental device i see no folds uh, besides little plastic accessories and stuff like that so i'm guessing oh wait here's one that's sold for $99 for shipping, probably to move it as quickly as possible because I doubt this can be used uh, or sold on eBay. But 13 bucks, you know, obviously it's a good buy, but you can't actually sell it. So that was going back. Plenty of bobbleheads here. Okay, so just walked out with a couple things. We grabbed that Jurassic World Dino and then the Stanley Food Jar Thermos. $8.99. They sell for about 35 shipped. I may just keep it. It's brand new. Um, this is a little dirty, but I can wipe that down. But yeah, it's a brand new product. All right, parking lot is full at this point. We were back at store number one, stop number three of the day. Uh, we were successful on our first round, so we'll see if uh, any more great stuff has come out. Okay, right off the bat, and a little Barbie thing, Max Vebo, some plush, some sealed puzzles. So. The uh, Max Revo plush. This is a Star Wars celebration. It's a rare one. I guess it talks. Four bucks. Looks like there's none listed. The last one sold for $75. So awesome pickup on that. I'm going to check on the rest of this stuff. Okay, ended up just uh, grabbing Max Rebo. So I want to eat some eggs. So I'll come back here after I eat my breakfast. Coming off a nice fat. Big breakfast. <laughs> had some sausage eggs, had two Bloody Marys. Oh, outdid myself. They were fantastic. Feeling a little full. We've got about an hour left of uh, stuff getting put out. I might ride it out the whole time. We'll see how I feel. 
most of these old uh, McFarlane, as cool as they are, they're just not worth anything. This one's all beat up. I've got a handful myself. I have Jimi Hendrix one from back in the day, but I remember these were super popular back when I was working at Toys R Us. Grab this off uh, one of the carts. It's in a mean bean leather jacket. Small women's. Got a little belt on it, but it looks like this is a good one. It's 25 bucks, but looks like I can get a couple hundred, so picking that up for sure. Grab a bunch of cool stuff from uh, the carts. Got a Wolverine in there for sure. Uh, I see a G.I. Joe, Turtles, so that's a definite go. Then we'll look at this one. There's a Kermit, Pop, oh, Waldo from uh, Statler too, so I'll get those for sure. Then we'll look up these other toys. Okay, so I am leaving a little bit early, so I just grabbed the jacket and those toys and stuff. I bought a Super Nintendo game in box. He said they have some in the showcase for 90 bucks. He mentioned one was Final Fantasy, so that could be worth it. Back to the actual last stop of the day. Zip down to store number two. We are going to see if the Super Nintendo games that told us about earlier are still here. It looks like we were too late. But it happens. Wouldn't expect something like that to sit around too long. poster for a book. So, so up the hill they had a bunch of Jenga games sealed, like the similar amount, and you guys are putting out the same amount today too. <laughs> How does that happen? You guys have them cheaper, they had them for $5.99. So these uh, pandemic games were not worth it, so we're putting those back. Okay, just bought my second leather jacket of the day. This is a Boeing medium men's leather jacket. Um, it's in really nice shape. Looks like it's very lightly used, from what I can tell anyway. Um, 25 bucks for this one too. Again, these are gambles. You know, I'm not in the clothes game. You know, wipe it down a little bit here. But um, yeah, we'll see. I think I can uh, do all right on this stuff.